Hello, how are you guys doing? Last week I couldn't release anything because I was busy and I couldn't find time to like a plan a video or tutorial. So I decided not to release because I don't want to just to release something to sake of release. So I didn't release. Today, uh, when I'm thinking about the videos, I got a nice idea. Here's how it goes. Sometimes our solutions are very simple, so we can believe this is the right solution. Today's video is something like that. So if you don't know what the Occam's razor is, it's better you go and Google after this video what the Occam's razor is and how that fit into your day-to-day -day life. So uh, this is how today's video goes. I got a question, but I'm not going to uh, like I can't publish this question because it came on my Facebook page as a private message. But I will publish the question without publishing who asked the question and it's a long question but I'll summarize it uh, I'll try to put it to the screen as well so what he says hi Krishantaya I need a small help from you uh, currently I am using a middle I mean there was some introduction and stuff and then it says I'm uh, using a middleware to attendant from the local network uh, push to SQS and then sync it with the main database and so and so okay so let me do explain his problem and what is asking okay actually he almost he went to the right solution but himself is not sure am i doing the right thing okay that's why he is sending this question to me i i'm sharing this because this is a good uh, example that everyone so when you have a solution you need to analyze the solution and if you feel there is no like major uh, like disadvantages of a cons of the solution then you can use it because it's a good solution okay so this is how it goes uh, what he explaining to me is he has a, he designing a, like some sort of a HR solution right so this how this HR solution work is so there are attendant system which is on the machine uh, sorry um, the office local premises and he's he want to his uh, his apis are on aws as a lambda so what he need is he need to access attendant devices records right so maybe it's a fingerprint or a face recognition he need to access those and what he's saying uh, he need to like push into sqs and so he that's, that's that's his simple requirement okay so now here is the problem he is facing so now right now what he doing is he is using some sort of uh, local uh, program here which read this data from the attendance system and push into the SQS right so that is how he is doing but when you doing this mass scale um, like something like a SaaS then it's really hard to maintain and like kind of a let uh, ask user to run something on the local so that is why he is asking is this a, what is the best solution to do it okay so how to find a solution for this type of problem that's the most important thing so this is how you should say this so now if you get this attendance system you only have two options to get the records either this device itself need to push the record right or this service api has to pull the record this is the only two options available right i mean this can have various like uh, access a dump or a data dump or a something but either way either device has to give it voluntary like an event or something or else api can pull it okay so now i ask the question is the, this device is capable to push the records like for example sometime device may have something like a esp32 or something then device can push itself right because these days esp32 module is a very simple right it device may push it right it is own so what he is saying no device don't push it i have to pull it okay cool so now how we can do what are the available solutions for this problem so now let's say we go with the push one right so we get that in a sense to push so now the problem is is really hard like you give us some api or something to these um, uh, companies and saying okay you need to run this api on one of your local machine so that local machine can push it uh, push into my aws now the problem is this this program may stop someone may shut down the machine someone may like some network issues some we don't know right and also when you push in this record from 
uh, like customers local machine to your AWS then you have to really really think about the security right with the, how you are going to allow them to authenticate and authorize to send the data to you and also you need to make sure these, these data are man, not manipulated because it's some run on someone's machine some user can like, uh, like, like jam it right so now you can say yeah yeah you can run on a server, server room or something but not all the companies have that feature so yeah pushing is you can possible push with local program right but not ideal okay so then he is asking can i use a dyn dns sort of a solution if you know what the dyn dns is how this is a simple uh, technology how dyn dns works so you get some sort of a url right from a, a public dns so that means this url is you can discover this URL. Let's say like abc dot dot com, right? So now, if you if someone is called this URL, this URL comes to my DNS server and then it resolves to uh, my server. So now what I'm doing is I your router in your let's say this is in your home or office, your router publishing its DNS to this place right so what is its public ip right now because most of uh, ip addresses like giving your isps are dynamic you don't get a static ip address so this like a kind of a 10 hour lease or something like that then your ip address like keep changing so therefore every time it change your router is publishing this uh, new ip address to this uh, so this wherever we give so now when someone come to abc.krishanta.com i know right now the ip is 1.2.3.4 right so if this ip change to 5 it update to here so then whoever come to this dns it can resolve um, your ip address this is this is a workable solution but the problem is again security okay so if you can go with this but if you are going with this you need to make sure you have a thorough security uh, protocol mechanism like you need to make sure no one like outside people not enter into your uh, attendance uh, device or devices or eventually your local network okay so now the second option is dns okay so this is okay this is also okay you can do it the third option you can do is right the third option you can do is is something like uh, prefer option one but little bit handy than that so what you can do is so something like you get like uh, like some sort of a, if you get can get a static IP, right? If not, this is again the Dyn DNS would work. But now you are not allowing Dyn DNS to go to your attendance system, and you need to give some sort of a program like option one to run in their local machine, and that program will um, read the attendance records and keep on the local database or a, some sort of a caching or a file system or somewhere or a FTP server. Right, so then you your API talk to the FTP server and pull the record. That way, the office system does not talk to directly to your APIs. You don't have to allow each and every attendance systems to talk to you. Or then other in other side, uh, they are also not like letting outside people to come in. Rather than that, you are using something like a shared location where they push the data and you read the data from there. So now your clients and your servers are completely disconnected and you rely on FTP or some sort of a, a separate mechanism where it's a shared. Okay, that's also like, yeah, but it has also has security threat, but you can see the file type, file format, what is the file I'm reading and so and so you can you can uh, go for a different different security mechanism. So that also would work okay so that third one is right so third one is right shared location right so they push and you pull from a shared location then there's other way you can do is you can use something like arduino or something like esp um, right so if you don't know what this is this is a very simple um okay i'll put a picture i have one but i don't have it right now here I'll put a picture. So uh, what you can do is you can use something like an ESP32 device. So what you can do is, okay, let me bring that. I, I got it. So this is the device I was talking about, right? So this is a, like an ESP32 device. It's a very small, like a two inch by one inch, something like that, right? 
so what you can do is so you can uh, put a small program here and you can like put in a nice box or a small box out of this and you can like give every consumers who like buying your attendance system as a SaaS or something like that so what this device does is they can talk to those uh, attendance devices you have in your local and push into your server right so this is now you can say okay this is the same as option number one no it's different so this does not require any uh, operating system or any sort of a machine to work this doesn't this doesn't require like any user to run this program or something like that so this is like a self-managed uh, like a dongle kind of a thing so if you someone is subscribing to your one so you are sending a dongle so what so you are programming your attendance system um, ip terminals in, in this program so they you what you just asking is okay can you like power up this with the five volts and keep in like somewhere where it has a Wi-Fi connection? So now through the Wi-Fi, this talk to local devices and then this can publish into your uh, server, right? Your server or even you can pull it uh, by combining that line DNA solution. So now this is same as option one, but it's more reliable and it's, it's, it's in your control because you can like you can come up with a way that remotely flush this program and like update program or something like that right using some iot uh, iot methods right so the, you have a multiple option it's under your full control so now if you analyze all these four solutions those are almost similar right each solution almost similar we just circling around a smaller thing there are multiple other solutions for this as well but i'm just taking these four to show you all these four solutions are almost similar little different with each other but these solutions are so simple that we feel looks like something is wrong in his message he's saying however i feel Okay, currently I'm using middleware to read the attendance from the local network, push into SQS and sync with my main database. I don't know why you're pushing to SQS though. Um, however, I feel there is an issue with this approach. When I release this as a SaaS product, I won't be able to manage using this local network method. All, uh, all my APIs are hosted on AWS Lambda. So now he get the solution and he feel this is not right but i would say no your solutions are good but you can think what we discuss and if you can think like as a people who see this video if you have other option or if you tried and some other options are working i mean as i said like i can come up with a, like 10 12 solution for this one you also can come in and we can see pros and cons of each of your solution so then i'll talk to you soon again and stay safe take care